This is Field Communications in Philadelphia. If I'm going to install insulation, don't I need advice from an expert? Do I have a hot number for you? Oh, yeah? But is it true that I should have my furnace inspected once a year? Do we have a hot number for you? Well, then tell me, what's the number? 800-492-4242. Call this toll-free number if you have any questions about energy. Rock Hudson and Burl Ives star in the Tuesday night 8 o'clock movie, The Spiral Road. That's what I'm talking about, about that great big world out there. We got a corner of the foreign market. That's where the big bucks are. That's where the dollars are. What's yours? What's my... Uh... Oh, uh... Uh... Give me a scotch. Give me a scotch, yeah. No, 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 I don't need that. Give me the cheap stuff. I need expensive. Give me the bar with me. Nice, uh, nice joint you got here. You got a right to your opinion. Thanks, thanks. Uh, <clears throat> this used to be a hangout of a buddy of mine. He used to come in here, told me all about it. Yeah. It's a big guy, Paul. Maybe, maybe you, you know him. Uh, his name was Gunter. Gunter Wagner. You remember him? Yeah. Yeah. Rest his soul. Well, yeah, anyway, he used to tell me about the place, and I figured, you know, I was in the neighborhood. I'd come on and look around. Any, uh, any of his old buddies around here? Yeah, I got over in the booth. Oh, yeah? Which one? The big one. You know, with his back to you on the right. Chummy Davis. I don't know the other three guys. That's, uh, that's quite a coincidence. I know one of those guys there. Yeah, I think I go over there and say hello to him. Uh, I don't think you ought to do that. How come? Uh, it's a private party. I don't think they want to be interrupted. Oh, I, yeah, I get you. I get you. Yeah. Uh, look, what, you, you got a piece of paper and a pencil in it? Sure. Do me a favor, will you? This guy, uh, Mr. Uh, Davis. Give him the snow, will you? And, uh, here. Keep the change. Hey. All right, thank you. Yeah, don't worry about it. Excuse me, Bob. I did you take care of all the little details. Now, if you've got any questions, ask them now, because I don't want any follow-ups later on down the road. I got one question. Go ahead, shoot me that. In case we got a... Anybody. Who do we call? All right, if you gotta ventilate anybody's head, all right, you call either me or my partner, you understand? We're partners, we trust each other right now? You bet. You call either one of us. Night is brought to you by Mountain Grown Folgers, Mountain Grown Coffee, the richest kind, and by New Formula Era, a new combination of powerful cleaners concentrated into one quarter cup. When we set out to improve a great laundry detergent, we wanted to keep the powerful cleaners that work on ordinary dirts, that cut through food stains, that get out grease and oil, and add powerful cleaners that clean collar soil even better than before. So that's what we did. All in the concentrated quarter cup called New Formula Era. So effective, it cleans clean through. Watch Era clean through collar soil, taco grease, and motor oil. We treat only the top with a teaspoon of Era, rub, run under warm water, and look. New Era cleans clean through. 
That's the kind of power you get in Era's little quarter cup. New Era, power that cleans clean through. What'd you use <laughs> in the automatic drift coffee maker? Folgers flaked coffee. Delicious. What'd you use in the automatic coffee maker? Folgers flaked coffee. Mm, it tastes great. Mm -hmm. Mrs. Olson, what'd you use in the... Oh, Folgers flaked coffee. Oh, nothing's better than these coffee makers. Why's that? Folgers is mountain grown. The richest kind of coffee. And it's flaked? Flaked to release more rich flavor. So you use less. If you normally use five measures, you only need four of Folgers flaked coffee. Delicious. Folgers is a coffee recommended by Proctor Silex for its automatic coffee makers. Mountain grown Folgers. That's how good coffee makers make great coffee. Bryson? Yes. I have a package here for you. Would you like to sign right here, please? Sure. Listen, enjoy. Thank you. Okay. friend. Um, what can I do for you, Mrs. Winnie? I need a photograph. Of? Myself, of course. <laughs> of course. Um, I need a, a close-up portrait, and you have to do your very best work. It's for my husband. All right. I just bought this beautiful antique gold frame, and I want to do it justice. Well, that shouldn't be too hard. Uh, you know, Christmas is just around the corner, and I thought that it'd make a nice personal gift. Don't you agree? I think it would make a wonderful gift. Um, I can make an appointment for you as soon as possible. Oh, Jim Dietrichson must be a little more than a close friend, huh? I take acting classes with him evenings. He teaches acting? Yes. He's a very good teacher. Well, that's very interesting. Is he equipped to teach acting? Well, yes. He's had quite a background. He's very dedicated to the theater and to his students. Well, does he teach anywhere around here? Where does he teach? He has his own studio. We have classes in the old Wiley dance studio. Boy, it is a small world. That's right down the street. Yes. Mrs. Whitney, if you're so interested in Jim, I could introduce you to him. No! <laughs> no, I'm not interested in meeting him. But you! I mean, if you're going to go to acting classes, are you going to change professions? Oh, maybe I should go to another photographer. No, 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 Mrs. Whitney, the, the acting is purely for fun. I'm not getting out of photography. I take the classes as an interesting hobby. That's right. Pretty soon you're going to get your daddy's money, aren't you? Then you won't have to work at all. That should be great. Well, I'm afraid that day is never going to come. Why not? Well, it's rather complicated, but the end result is that when the funds are released, they're all going to the IRS and not to me. Oh, listen, honey, look, there's a lot of ways to get around that. <laughs> well, the letter indicated that when it's all over and done with, I may even owe them money. That is depressing. <laughs> <laughs> well, not really. Because you can't take it with you, can you? Especially if you never had it to begin with. Hey, if I can't take it with me, I'm not going. <laughs> That's the spirit. <laughs> I mean, I don't understand how people can exist without money. It's as important to everyone as the air we breathe. Yes, but I imagine you've always had it. No, I haven't. But I don't want to think about that. Well, um, what will be a convenient time for an appointment? Uh, let's see. How about Wednesday? Morning? <laughs> no. Afternoon. Late afternoon. Four o'clock. Yeah, I should be up by then. Fine. Okay, see you Wednesday. Uh, Mrs. Whitney. Oh. Oh. I've got a lot of money for an actor. Money isn't everything. There's always love. Oh, Jim. Fifty dollars! Fifty! Not pesos, not lira, not francs, but fifty American dollars for a bunch of flowers and my money at that. Didn't they have anything on sale? Don't worry, Hector. 
I'll pay you back. With what? You just told me you don't even have enough money to pay next month's rent on this place. I'll find a way. I always do. Looks to me like you just lost your way. What do you mean by that? You can't kid me, Jimmy, baby. You were interested in this Valerie Bryson because of the money she was going to get. Then, suddenly, the long, hairy arm of the IRS reaches out and grabs the whole bundle. Miss Bryson now has zero dollars in her future, and you send her a bunch of flowers. Don't you believe in grand gestures, Hector? Not with my money. You know what your problem is? You've got no romance in your soul. Yeah, just like you got no money in your pocket. Well, I'm going to change all that. I'm going to capitalize the first repertory theater this, this town's ever seen. <sighs> You're hallucinating, you know that? Why? First of all, you have to have full-time actors. You can't do it with a truck driver, a waitress, and the corner druggist. Now, say you do produce a repertory season of, okay, five plays, that means sets. Costumes, stage crew, actors, salaries, royalties, and above all, a theater. Do you think an audience is going to settle for a crummy loft with a platform and 12 folding chairs? Eleven. One of them's busted. <laughs> I gotta hand it to you, Jimmy. You always were an optimist. And you are always a pessimist. That's the difference between us. I always believed something would come through. Opportunity. <laughs> yeah. Ta-da! Wrong. It's Johnny Gentry. What are you doing here? I said I was coming, didn't I? Dummy, I told you there was no work for an actor in this town. Yeah, well, what's the difference? There's nothing doing in Wonderland either. Anyways, you've seen one palm tree, you've seen them all. I figured I might as well be with friends. Friends? How long are you going to stay, Johnny? Who knows, until I get bored, I guess. And where? Uh, I don't know yet, uh, but I'm open to suggestions. <sighs> well, this is all I've got, and you're welcome to it, for a couple of days. Yeah, this, uh, has sort of a dingy bohemian charm. Yeah. Well, if it's okay, uh, I'll crash right here. Broke as ever, huh, Johnny? Oh, me? Yeah, well, uh, what do you call this? I told you something would always come through. Johnny, I want to tell you about some of my plans for this place. Jenny, look who's here. Hi, it's my mama. Ma, I'm hot. You've got a fever. Do you have any children's aspirin? No. I use children's Tylenol now because more pediatricians give it to their own kids. To bring down your child's fever fast, trust children's Tylenol. Fever's down. Well, pediatricians know what works. Trust aspirin-free children's Tylenol, the one more pediatricians give their own children in chewables, liquid, and drops. <laughs> Sparkling. Traditional. The people who bring you Reynolds Wrap wish you and yours all the joy of the holiday season. Happy Holidays from Reynolds Wrap. Calm down, will you? You eat like a brontosaurus with a tapeworm. What is it with you? So what? You got no class at all. Hey, use a napkin for Pete's sake. Excuse me. We're a button half pound. Mm. Don't use your fingers. Chummy, ask the waiter. See if he's got a shovel over there. We'll make it go a little faster for you. How's that? <laughs> and listen, by the way, there's one thing I want to get clear right away before I forget. Now, I want to run a nice, tight little organization here. So the less people, the better. I agree. agree. It's got to be that way, definitely. Right? You agree? Definitely not. You just nod your head if you're breathing. By the time you get through with that sandwich, you're going to have to repaint the walls. Well, I mm -hmm. Now, look. The deal is this. I'm willing to share my contracts with you guys, but I got to run the show. I call the shots. It's the only way it's going to work. It's okay with me. All right? All right. If you got any problems, you call my partner here. My partner's got the okay for any job under five grand. Anything over five grand, you got to talk to me. Understood? 
Beautiful. Very good. Let's have a drink. Harry! Right there. Harry, bring us another round here, will you? Sure. Show me. A guy left this for you. Excuse me one minute, will you? I gotta make a phone call. Got another sandwich for the animal over there. Harry, can I use the bar phone? Uh, hey, get your body out of here. Hey, what do you think? You own the place? Move. Hey, I'm moving. Relax. Relax. Creep. This is Chummy Davis. Uh, phone number was left for me to call. Oh, yeah. Well, uh, I'm a friend of the late Gunther Wagner. What's that mean to me? Well, I was over at Harry's bar just a little bit ago, and I wanted to talk to you, but it looked like you were uh, busy. I didn't want to interrupt, but I'd like to... A few words with you now, in person. Nah, I'm busy. I got friends over here. I'm talking business. Well, I tell you what, I'm at the call bar. I'll make it worth your while. Why don't you come on over here and we'll talk for a bit? I'm still busy. I'll give you a C note for 10 minutes. A C note? I'll be there. Health experts don't always agree on what's best. But many of them believe we should keep our serum cholesterol from rising above normal limits. Now, how do we do that? Well, in this university study, 43 families on individual eating plans reduced serum cholesterol an average of 9.6% in three weeks. Did they live on boiled rice? Not at all. They cut down on foods that were high in cholesterol and saturated fats. They ate more fish, more chicken, more fruit, more vegetable. And for cooking and salad dressings, they used puritan oil because it is low in saturated fats and contains no cholesterol. This is the oil, I think you should try it. This is the name, I think you should remember it. Puritan knows you're fighting serum cholesterol. Puritan wants you to win. Betsy smells funny. That's baby smells. Smelly formula, sticky baby food. Diapers. <laughs> That's ammonia. Baby laundry is a special problem. So instead of regular detergent, I use Dreft with enriched borax. It's specially made for baby laundry. There's borax in grain after grain of Dreft. Dreft gets tough baby laundry clean and clean smelling. Now she smells good. Dreft cleans baby smells out of baby laundry. You know, it's her boyfriend, Dr. Cavanaugh's sweet sister-in-law. I overheard her setting up a rendezvous with him on the phone, and I took the police off. Uh, the call was anonymous, of course. Oh, yes, of course. Well, it was my duty as a citizen, wasn't it? Society has to be protected, doesn't it? Do me a favor, will you, Nora? Try not to call me anymore. We just have to stop worrying about the watch. Erase it from our minds. We can't prove anything now that Bobby and Mr. Hoffman are dead. But the two of them were tied up together in this in some way. How can people just accept a coincidence like that? Because they didn't have any facts to prove Bobby's theory. Neither did we. Yeah, one obstacle after another. All right, then let's just put it out of our minds and, and concentrate on something more important, which is getting you acquitted. It's not an acquittal, Jody. It's a settlement. The deal's practically set with the prosecution. It's not freedom, but it's not life either. It's somewhere in between, something like five or ten years. No, we can't think like that. It's too long. We have no choice. Look, I might be coming up for parole in about three years. Think of it that way. It's only three years. That's still too long. I'd understand if, if you don't wait. Oh, come on. You know I'll wait. Three years, five years, ten years if it's necessary. It just can't be that long. I don't want to spend that much time without you. It's not up to us, honey. Honey, Merry Christmas. Look, I bought all these gifts for you from the kids. Look. Yeah. 
night. Christmas is almost here. I want to spend Christmas with you. I want to spend all my Christmases with you. Well, you might get part of your wish anyway. What do you mean? Cliff has applied for a special compassion leave from me. What would that mean? That we'd be together for a little while at least. But don't, don't get your hopes up. It may not happen. My name's Chummy Davis. You waiting for me? Uh, yeah, yes. Uh, uh, why don't you have a seat? Nice meeting you. How are you? Fine, thanks. Would you like a drink? Uh, yeah, gin and tonic, please. Uh, all right, one gin and tonic. Yeah, I'm all right here. Mm -hmm. I like Harry's place better. It's got more atmosphere. Yeah. So you're a friend of Gunther's? Uh, yes, that's right. He uh, worked for me for oh. quite a while. Thanks a lot. He's quite a good friend of mine as well. So what's that got to do with me? I understand that Gunther uh, did some business with you, is that right? Maybe. He told me that he did some business with you shortly before he died. He bought some uh, blank cartridges from you. Do you remember that? Yeah. Yeah, I remember that. Funny thing of that, too. I could never figure out why he wanted those blank cartridges. I can see it. I can see it. My dream girl? No, I can see. Carefree sugarless gum has more flavor. How can you see more flavor? It is crystal clear. Carefree weighs 32% more than tried and smaller sticks. I can see it. Carefree's got more gum. Now taste it, handsome. Then more flavor. More gum gives you more flavor. But uh, what about my dream girl? Would you settle for a happy medium? You can see it's got more flavor. Carefree sugarless gum. Taboo by Dana. It all began with an embrace. Embrace me, my sweet embrace of you. Taboo. Embrace me, you irreplaceable you. Taboo. My sweet embrace. Taboo, an embrace that lives forever in a fragrance. Taboo. possess a powerful force. No, it possesses me. What's happening to your face? Tonight, David Banner learns of the existence of another Hulk-like creature. So, where what do you think of this look? I think it looks very good, Eddie. You know, with the way you got this whole setup organized, it's gonna be perfect. We are going to make a fortune. I agree with you. That is, if everybody remembers their job and everybody remembers their place in the organization. But you know, I'm glad you made that clear. You know, everybody knows exactly what they're doing and exactly what they're going to get. This way, there's no arguments, right? Yeah, there's only one way to handle this thing. Believe me, I got a lot of experience. The most important thing here is personnel. Everybody's going to know his job. Everybody's going to be on the ball. Stand-up guys like you. That is, when you're not on the telephone. Hey, no more telephone calls. You got my promise. What do you think of Chummy and uh, Vinny? Oh, I think they're okay. They're gonna work out, you know? They know their business. You know, it's funny. You can always tell if a guy's a stand-up guy. I can tell in a second just like that, just by looking at him. And then again, if you got any doubts, you can always take out a little key man insurance like I did back in New York. Yeah, it's always good to have insurance, Eddie. And it's only good when you collect. You say, what happened to this friend of yours? Uh, you say, uh, hit and run driver. It's funny about hit and run. You can do one hell of a bang-up job on your car, I'll tell you that. <laughs> so, the truth is, you really didn't know why you'd gone through one of those blank cartridges, is that right? In my business, you don't ask questions. You just sell a man what he wants. But I thought it was a little peculiar. Yeah, well, I'll tell you something a little bit more peculiar. The police know about those blanks. So what? They were blanks. Yeah, well, you know, cops, how they do have a tendency to make something insignificant seem uh, more important than it is. Hey, look, let's get down to the nitty-gritty, huh? What do you want from me? All right, relax. Relax, Mr. Davis. I'll tell you. You see, I know the reason that Gunther wanted those blank cartridges. He wanted to play a little 
a practical joke on a friend. A little game of, of Russian roulette, but uh, unfortunately he was shot dead before he had a chance to play it. Well, that's got this tough luck. Yes, 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 precisely. But uh, just in case the police do ask questions, that is the story, okay? Anything you want. Unless the police have already begun asking questions, maybe that's... Maybe that's the reason Tyler was at the bar. Who are you talking about? He told me his name was Earl Gander. His name isn't Earl Gander. His name is Damien Tyler. He's a cop. Inside that little Hershey's kiss is the big, big taste of chocolate. Inside this little Hershey's kiss is the chocolate we all love. Inside this little Hershey's kiss is the big, big taste of chocolate. Hershey's Kisses, that little mouthful of chocolate everybody loves, wrapped in all the colors of Christmas. Inside this little Hershey's kiss is the chocolate we all love. Feel how good you feel, feeling good about yourself. The way you feel in love's baby soft Like a smile from deep inside It's a feeling you can't hide The way you feel in love's baby soft It's the soft, tender, totally feminine fragrance The nicest things happen in love's baby soft Feel how good you feel 